What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Christine with Gage Girl Training here. Today we're gonna answer the question, does hormonal belly ever really go away? So let's get started. So there are three main belly types. The first type is the bloated belly, which occurs when you eat certain food that triggers the release of gas, indigestion in the intestines. The second one is weight gain belly, which is just the overall result of increased adipose fatty tissue in the abdomen. And last but not least, we're talking hormonal belly. Hormonal belly is different than the first two because hormonal belly takes place specifically in the lower abdomen. And on top of all of that, it is the result of a hormone imbalance. Now, you can experience hormone belly even when you are eating healthy and even when you are eating in a caloric deficit. And this is the compounding effect that makes it so important for you guys to pay attention and to take notes to everything I'm about to say in this video because so many people try to approach hormonal belly the way they approach weight gain belly. The way you approach weight gain belly, which works well for most people, is to eat in a caloric deficit boost the protein, do all those things that everybody does and it works. However, when it's hormonal belly, it doesn't work. And I often find that people are eating healthy, they're eating in a deficit, and they are frustrated out of their minds because they're doing all the right things with the body fat is not budging. And here's the reason why. When your hormones are imbalanced, it shifts your fat distribution patterns. I repeat, when your hormones are imbalanced, it shifts your fat distribution patterns. This applies for women as well as men. So what do I mean by that? Specifically, I'm talking about estrogen dominance. This is when your estrogen levels are high relative to your progesterone levels. Now, this can happen to women who are in menopause. Now we know that menopause, your estrogen levels start to decline. So you may be saying, Christine, how can I have estrogen dominance when my estrogen levels are already low? Well, the thing is, it doesn't matter if they're low, as long as they're high relative to your progesterone levels, there is going to be an issue. One of the biggest signs that you have hormone imbalances, one of the biggest signs that you have this is an irregular cycle. If your cycle is not hitting like clockwork every month, this means that there is an imbalance in your progesterone levels because when you're supposed to get your period that and that's not happening, that is when your, your body has the opportunity to dispel those excess estrogens and bring you back into balance. And which is also why, if you ever notice, the, the days leading up to your period, you're bloated, you're gaining weight, you feel like crap, and then once your period starts, the weight starts to come down. Now, with that being said, these things can be rebalanced, but you need to be strategic in how you do it. So number one is you do not want to be in a big caloric deficit. For fat loss and typical weight gain belly, you wanna be at a caloric deficit of at least 500 calories, which is going to support the loss of one pound of body fat per week. This is what five pounds of body fat looks like. Now, when you're trying to lose the hormonal belly, so many of you guys feel like if you diet harder, it's going to get this to go away faster and the complete opposite is true. What you wanna do, if you have hormonal bellies, you wanna go in a modest deficit. 250 calories, 100 calories, maybe even eating closer to your maintenance calories. And the reason for this is the nutrients that you're going to be consuming by getting higher calories are the nutrients required to bring your hormones back into balance. And that is the hugest and biggest nuance why so many women are not experiencing the loss of this hormonal belly fat is because they're not getting sufficient levels of the appropriate nutrients. You need more dietary fats. You need higher levels of fiber, north of 30 grams of fiber per day. You need moderate amounts of protein and you want to be selective of the protein sources. We're talking fatty fish, chicken's okay, eggs are okay. This can also be accomplished in a plant-based matter. So what I have done, you guys, I have created a free seven-day hormone reset that you guys can dabble in. And it's a sampler of my larger 21-day hormone reset program. Now in this freebie, I don't provide the macros, I don't provide the calories because I want you guys to just get a gist of how the eating style is different. There is a sample menu for an original style of eating. Original does include eggs, it includes chicken. All of the plans are 100% dairy free, free of all inflammatory foods. It also has a sample plant-based menu because this can be done entirely plant-based as well and I'm obsessed with the plant-based menu. They are absolutely phenomenal. So 
If you want to lose hormonal belly fat, the answer is yes, you can lose it. I have clients who lose it all the time. It is a very big deal. It can be done, but you can't just be arbitrary with it. You gotta be very tactical. You have to be very strategic. You do have to be willing to give up coffee. You do need to be willing to give up alcohol. You do need to be willing to make some sacrifices. However, it can be done. And it's not as hard as you think because you are eating plenty of food. It's just about eating the correct food. So link in the description box to get the free seven day hormone reset. Any questions or concerns, please comment below and let me know what other types of videos you would like to see on this topic.